Thanks, Traveler, for joining me on this four-day stopover in the town of Mekathara, Western Australia, November 2007. Here's my impressions. A red color predominates everywhere. Mekathara is a mining town. It's rough and ready. It's been wonderfully done up to appeal to tourists. It's got a population of about a thousand people, with about one-third being Aboriginal. It's a major supply centre for the pastoral and mining areas of the Murchison region of WA. It no longer has a railway, but it was important for being the northernmost location of the Northern Railway running to Geraldton and Perth. Its location in Western Australia is inland on Highway 95 or the Great Northern Highway which runs from Perth to Port Hedden. A street map shows that it's not really that large with Highway 95 being the centre point of the town. Everywhere its early mining history has been publicised and gold mining continues today. St. Barbara's Gold Mine was a large open pit mine operating just outside Mekathara. It's been sold to a company called Mercator Gold, which is consolidating many of the mining races and may expand mining for gold in the region. An early gold mining stamp. Probably the best accommodation in town is the Oski Inland Motel. Here's the um, Oski here, well done up with beautiful palm trees. Highway 95 running into Nikithara with a road train passing through. Looking down the main street, Highway 95. The Commercial Hotel is one of the large taverns in town. It's got a long history going back almost to 1900. And it still has that frontier image. The Royal Mail Hotel is another very yearly gold mining hotel begun around 1900. Yet another hotel. There's lots of taverns for a town with less than 1,000 people. The Mekathara Chair Office has an excellent little museum. A poster on Farmer Jack's, one of the grocery stores, celebrates conciliation between whites and Aboriginals. I found a lot of Aboriginal children running around the town. Mikatara's water tank. The streets are wide and very empty. Mikatara has a large number of roads running into it, so it's a support center for the entire region. Many of the early gold mining houses still survive with their galvanized iron. A National Library shot of an early prospector in Mekathera. Of course, there's thoughts of more recent construction. Not much grass though, and the temperature is 40 degrees. I'm traveling with my friend Jamie, and we stay in the Mekathera Caravan Park. I was pulling a 20-foot caravan. In November, the entire caravan park is empty, and it's 40 almost every day, sometimes warmer. I just left the caravan park I'm headed into town. I want to look at the Rainsland Discovery Trail. 
I'll start with the three kilometer creek trail. There's lots of advertising about Mekatera and its history. The Rainsands Discovery Trail provides fascinating insight into the indigenous heritage, natural wonders, settlement history, and rich red landscapes. There's lots of interpretive signs, and it follows Mika Creek, which this time of year is just about dry. There's also a town walk with interpretive signs on almost every historic building. Must be 20 or 21. Okay, we're on the trail. The creek's to the left. Creek's bushy, not much water though. I learned that the spangled perch and the frog uh, go into estivation. They burrow into the mud and they can survive sometimes for years without water to be revived in the next rain. I learned that the Euro or common wawaroo is the typical ca uh, kangaroo seen around Mekathera. A wawaroo is not like the big red, which many tourists think they are. There's lots of old mining equipment set up along the trail, including this 1900 uh, stamp for crushing ore, and this old rod mill for crushing ore. They've even erected a head frame. There's a sign about outback pathways or four-wheel drive trips that one can do through the Murchison outside Mekatera. I guess this area must be flooded during the wet season, so there's a long wooden pathway. Well, I'm almost down the trail to the end. I passed the high school and primary school assigned to the School of the Air for many years. Uh, education in the Outback was done by radio from here in Mekatera. Here's the school here. The head frame from across Mika Creek. Common acacia bush. I learned that the Aboriginals call acacia did finish because it's fast to die in a drought. The seeds have been found by the Aboriginals to be very nourishing. An early grader and uh, probably a mining locomotive. Well, I'm absolutely exhausted in the heat, 40 degrees. Stop in with my friend Jamie on the left in the commercial hotel, states back with the very early days. It celebrates its mining history. And mining today. Mercator Gold is the company that's buying up most of the gold leases and consolidating gold mining at present. Thanks for joining me, dear viewer, for this trip to Mekatera. It's been a pleasure to have your company. I hope you have a great day.